Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm doing good. Good, good. Um, we're live on my personal channel right now. We're going to release this later on Atheist Republic's YouTube channel. Uh, we're here with Objective Reality. I think a lot of people who are uh, active in Atheist Republic's live chat know you um, yes. and seen your comments. So before, we're going to be talking about Hinduism, the caste system, and also sexuality in India yes. um, today. Yes. Um, and But before we get to that, uh, do you mind telling people just a little bit about you? Not, you know, I know you don't want to share too much, but just a little bit so they know why they should should they even be listening to you. Okay, so yeah. uh, I, I, from most people's perspective, I mean, uh, I am privileged in an Indian society, right? So uh, you're always going to hear stories from people who uh, have a problem with society or people who have... Uh, uh, I mean, pe people usually, I mean, it's always the outliers who come out and speak, right? You're not mm -hmm. going to see the the average person. I, I would be like a white guy in an American society, right? So for that reason, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be blinded to the actual uh, situation on the ground. Uh, and, uh, and, and also a lot of people are activists. So from that sense, they're always going to focus on one uh, a specific issue and and they, they've dealt with something in life right personally mm -hmm. so they're not going to see uh things from a distance that that is something that most people i mean it's it's, it's unlucky for them but they're never going to see uh reality from a distance which is something okay. that i have the privilege to right, All right. and that yeah so, so that's you, why per, oh, you have yes. life experience all right but you started by wanting to share some pictures with us yeah. Is that how is that how we're getting started? So okay, um, why are we? What are we looking at? Is that do you want to? Actually, you lead yeah. the way. I'll ask. You lead right. the way. I'll ask questions. Okay. All right. So uh, this this girl happens to be uh, 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 you know she, she's a uh, she's a girl in my village. Uh, she, so so the village is uh, so I just wanted to uh, we, we just keep shifting through pictures uh, so that you have a general idea about what we're talking about, right? I mean, I could be talking about a girl, but uh, your image of what kind of a girl uh, might be different, right? From uh, what is the ground reality of a girl in a village and so on. And this is, this is uh, very much an average, right? Uh, I, I really chose this particular village because, uh, and, and also this particular theme, because India's population is over 65% rural. Right. So that is a majority of India lives like this. And this is not an extreme village from a sense that this is uh, not a developed village. It, it is not urban. It is not uh, a developed village. Uh, it's, it's a poor village because uh, this, this region receives very low rainfall. So the people in general are extremely impoverished in this region. The average income is lower. But again, this is one of those uh, regions where, uh, like, you know, incidents of uh, caste violence or uh, what do you say uh, violence against women is pretty low right pretty but, low yeah it's pretty low so this is this is a very boring village when it comes to uh, the, the boring things is that, good yeah boring is good because this is a this is an average village so right. you, you take this as an archetype and then you can build on every other village every other extremes uh, that exist i mean you can have right. extremes of uh, equality you can have extremes of inequality you can have extremes of everything right but mm. the archetype the model it, remains the same yeah of, and of, extreme equality is good i mean equality of opportunity like you're not saying it's a bad thing extreme yeah, yeah. So, but but this is this is not extreme equality yeah. either yeah right? i'm just I'm saying like extreme when you say extreme equality you're not yeah okay equality of opportunity should be extremely equal all right but go on right. um by the way guys I, I forgot to mention that if you if anybody wants to have uh, discussions like this uh, please don't contact me on facebook or twitter or contact me the only place you could contact me is on patreon i forgot to mention this at the be beginning contact me on patreon if you guys want to set up any discussions like this anyways go on continue sorry all right so uh yeah so th this so so and, and there's also this is a south indian village right mm -hmm. uh so this is a south indian village south indian village is uh, going to be a little different from a north indian village uh mm -hmm. from a sense that the cultures are actually extremely different uh even uh, it, which also reflects in the scripture right the the script i mean i'm just talking about as a cultural language script 
uh, the, the language script of South India is different from the language script of North India. So you can clearly see that there is a sort of uh, parallel evolution that took place because of uh, some element of geographic isolation between the two regions. Okay. Uh, right. So but how does how does this all get related um, re becomes relevant to Hinduism? Right. So yeah. uh, but because I mean Hinduism also evolved in different ways in the north and the south. So, okay, okay. so you're just so, showing you the differences, okay? Yeah, I'm going to show the differences. Uh, so let's go through. Okay. I know you have a lot of pictures to show, so let's go through them. All right. So, yeah. to the person to the left is my grandfather, right? Mm. Uh, he's about 92, and obviously he's a privileged guy. And uh, the person to the right is somebody uh, who is a villager. And uh, again, I'm trying to build an archetype of the average uh, village person. Okay. Right uh, now, the village person generally doesn't have much of a contact with the city. So enlightenment yeah. values really don't reach the village unless it is young people like me who go uh, and uh, like, you know, who, who engage with them. Right. Or uh, or people who are trying to. Uh, but, but again, these people are very egalitarian yeah. in their life lifestyle. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Go do on. they have Internet? Uh, they do. Uh, in fact, I, I was actually trying to say that, uh, like, for example, I'll take another picture somewhere a little ahead. Uh, for example, this guy, right? Uh, this guy's son is uh, more educated. Uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, so he's the kind of guy who you would find as your Twitter troll, right? Uh, who doesn't, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. He, right. he doesn't know uh, where you're coming from. For example, I've read books about, say, uh, European history and so on, and enlightenment and so on. He's just going to look at you as somebody who is insulting uh, his local, like, you know, uh, mm. practices, beliefs, and things like that. He doesn't, and, and he doesn't even understand English, right? For example, the nuances, uh, the, the cultural uh, relativism, all of that is lost mm. to him. He's not going to look at all of that. But mm. if a person like me goes and explains it to him, then he's like, ah, okay, okay, he get like, I mean, uh, and, and he's also going to take a cue from me. He's like, oh, okay, th this guy is educated. He knows how he's dealing with those people that he, I mean, he thinks I know Western people. I might understand Western people. And mm. as long as you're, he understands that your intentions aren't bad, he's going to be like, ah, okay, then, then he's probably got a point. Right. Mm. So, mm. so th that's the sort of thing I'm just saying. I just picked this guy because he is relatively in between the social ladder, right, of a right, village. Right. And village is about six hundred to seven hundred, a thousand people. That's so that's you're, the... you're basically trying to create a frame of mind for us or a reference right. when we. Okay, good. This is a, this is really good. Okay. Right. So, right. Uh, so my my grandfather is. You could say in this particular village, he's the richest man. And the income disparity would be about my grandfather would be about five times richer than the average person in the village, right? Mm. You always have a pyramid. I mean, it's it's not about caste per se, but there's always going to be an income disparity, right? In terms of uh, and, and and there are a lot of things that have changed in the last uh, what do you say uh, fifty years or seventy years or hundred years, mm. right? And all these changes have led to what has happened is uh, like. Uh, for, for example, a lot of people uh, have left the villages, right? So, for example, uh, for example, I mean, for I cannot sustain my lifestyle living in a village. So, capitalism really doesn't reward a village lifestyle, right? Okay. So, you you and even the average average land holding in a village is extremely small. It's about uh, uh, two and a half acres per person, and that's a very tiny land holding. So you're not going to make a lot of money just by doing agriculture. And, and that is okay. really the number one problem for uh, Indian people. Right. And then right. see, and then that leads to stress and that kind of stress leads to all of these uh, uh, other, you know, uh, of course, you have all of these other social issues, uh, all of that past baggage. But right. one of the biggest stresses is the fact that India still depends on agriculture when it should have moved to industrial jobs and uh, and all of that. Had you achieved that, I don't think we would have seen so much stress today. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, poverty causes stress, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. But 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 poverty in India is largely caused by uh, uh, our reliance on agriculture because yeah. You, but you what what brings what, what the thing I say that brings people on uh, from relying on agriculture to relying to become uh, to uh, to become more of a service 
um, right. base economy is capitalism. That's the only way to get out of that. Yes. Yeah, so so yeah. Th that's the whole reason why I'm like, you know, you, yeah. you have to uh, bank on capitalism. Because right. I mean, I, I'll tell you what. In in uh, in these areas, right? Uh, for, in just just not too long ago, uh, you had uh, uh, a little bit of uh, India has always had a history of socialism, right? So uh, we have socialism. It's imperfectly done, uh, but but I mean, if you don't have money, there's not a lot to spread around, also, right? So uh, th th that's the uh, th that's the core problem with uh, why socialism hasn't worked in the first place in India. And uh, second thing is, you also uh, had, uh, 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 anyway, I'll, I'll cover that topic later. Yeah, right? but About, let's, let's, but, yeah. We, we're, we're 10 minutes into the 60 minutes, so we need to move into the, remember, yeah, yeah. we talked about Hinduism, and we want to go to caste system, and we want to also right. talk about how Hinduism right. uh, affects people's uh, right. uh, views on sex. Okay, but let's right, go. Right. Okay, go. So anyway, so the, 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 the yeah, exactly. So the, the, the point is that these are the real Hindus at the end of the day, right? Okay. I'm not a real Hindu. These are the real Hindus. So just take, uh, keep that picture in mind. Well, real, uh, typical, not real Hindu, typical Hindu, because typical, we don't yeah, want to, do, yeah, we don't want to do a no true Scotsman's. Um, oh yeah, 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 no, no, actually, the, 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 actually yeah. see, uh, the, yeah. this is an average, right? Actually, there are many yeah. uh, hundreds of thousands of types of Hindus, right? So uh, the, this is, this is the yeah. gold mean, you could say, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, next is, uh, okay, so caste is more of a feudal construct. Right, so this is this is something that I'm trying to uh, propose. It's it's less of a uh, what do you say a religious construct, more of a feudal construct, because there are plenty but, of places in India where mm -hmm. uh, caste isn't derived directly from scripture, religion, and so on. It's 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 more of a feudal reality in villages like this, right, or in uh, towns. Right, it's it's still a feudal reality. It's not a religious. So you 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 for example, caste in this particular village, you would see caste for fishermen, washermen, barber. This guy would be a goat herder, and but that's and, not the caste when people are the the one that they're true, talking true. about. Yeah, yeah, that's true. not the okay. So that's like let's not conflate the two each. Uh, when people are talking about the caste system, they're talking about the religious one and the right. one that is causing a lot of problem. Like right, these right. other forms of like having a uh, right. group of fishermen and some. People making bread and they're separate, that right. is, and it's based exactly. on merit. That's not exactly. an issue. Like nobody is obviously people are not referring to that as a true, problem. true, they're true. Yeah. No, that that's precisely why I just uh, sort of wanted to uh, point. So let's not let's not use the cast interchangeably as if they're the same thing because they're not, okay. right? Yeah. yeah, true. So that's why I'll I'll sort of uh, take you to another picture because I think the theme of this particular uh, call is going to be about that. So can you see this? Uh, no, I you just... have to use, you stop sharing your screen. You need to share your screen again. Application window, I think it's, uh, okay, let me just do the entire screen probably, I guess, no. Okay. Share screen. Right. Gotcha. So here, if you see, uh, this is some research uh, done by this lady. Uh, I, I just wanted to bring this uh, in a little later. But what I was, if you see all those white regions, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the white regions on the map. Uh, these are actually the places uh, which are most uh, uh, heavily entrenched in uh, the religious kind of caste system. Wait, we need to right. first read the caption. So the caption by Alice says, percentage of Indian women who report that they had a say in, in, choose, in choosing, choosing their, their husband. Choosing their husband. Uh, I, uh, okay, so the, basically the darker parts are they had a choice. The yeah. white parts, they had no choice. So, so I come from the place where uh, there's about 80 to 100% uh, choice for women. So this is as fundamental as choosing their husband. That's like the biggest life decision people generally make. So, mm -hmm. it, 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 so it's, it's, it's very profoundly uh, striking that, I mean, it shows how much of a difference is there in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you see those uh, white regions, uh, those are areas which have a 
uh, yeah. which are heavily uh, what do you say um, so this is, this is a, sexist yeah, misogynist, uh, yeah. patriarch okay so Uttar Pradesh which is like one of the most religious parts in India right, right. you can see right. that that's very white so here yes. like you can see like uh, this is exactly what you expect the more religious uh, province is the less of a say women have you I mean I'm not saying this proves it but this is what you would expect like so for people like who say maybe religious views doesn't have a much impact on people's average daily lives you could see for example again i'm not saying this proves it but this is what you expect in some very religious places women have less say doesn't that yeah. doesn't this yeah that? okay okay yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a, there's a very very strong correlation but you also see that uh, what do you say uh, th there's a huge difference between south india and north india there's also a huge difference between uh, these other areas. So when your criticism is generally marked at uh, India, right? The thing is that all these people aren't going to come on board because they don't relate to it directly, right? So they're, right, they're right. I, to, I, I don't yeah. think I ever generalize all of no, India. I'm saying, I'm saying yeah. focused on, yeah. say for, see, it, it, yeah. it's, it's sort of, a, 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 I mean, for, for us, it feels like cultural imperialism in a yeah. sense, because we, we're coming from a colonial past, right? So even in our semantics, we sort of keep judging that a little bit. But yeah. uh, what generally, it, it, see, Uttar Pradesh by itself, Uttar pr Pradesh and Bihar, those two states, are, yeah. are the, uh, just just by themselves or uh, are about 20% uh, of India's population, 25% of India's population, right? Wow. That's one fourth. Yeah, that's huge. Mm. And, and that 25% is equivalent to the population of the United States, right? So the wow. fact that you, yeah, the fact that you know enough about every state of the United States, but you don't know enough about this particular pocket of India uh, means that's how little you care about India. Right? It's a yeah, huge but that's country. why I say that's why in our live streams I say that we need to pay more attention to India because true, true. Uh, the laws pa the laws passed in India affects way more people than the laws passed in most Absolutely. other countries. Right? Absolutely. That's why I always say that. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's one of the reasons why I'd say that uh, you should probably take a little more effort into dissecting the. Uh, the, the entire country into smaller sections where your criticism becomes a little more to, to the point, right? On point. Nuanced. Yeah, yeah more nuanced. Uh, for example, yeah. if you say, uh, you, you could say the Gangetic Belt, or you, a lot of people actually use the word the cow belt, right? For example, no, there's no cow vigilantis, uh, vigilantism in the south, but uh, there is a little in the north, right? So yeah. and uh, and also uh, there is no Hindu Muslim violence not to as as much to I mean not to such a large extent uh, in the south as it is in the north and I also we'll we'll come to all of that uh, as we go a little further right uh, mm. so I, I just I just wanted to bring you to this because it, it sort of came into the conversation but uh, th th this is something that is going to be the theme of this entire call anyway right this particular okay. chart. Right? Mm. So caste is more of a feudal con construct in most of India, right? Mm. So that's that's something that you have to even in even up in the north also uh, it's partially that and it's partially uh, a, a thing about Hinduism, right? So it's it's always like scripture, right? There is something to human behavior or uh, like you know anthropology of uh, things, and then you take scripture and you legitimize it to a certain extent. Right, so that's what happens but in these. There, another problem is that given that twenty uh, these white areas, right, uh, they might it might be very different from those darker areas, mm -hmm. but they are responsible for voting people in power that affects Absolutely. even the people in the darker area. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So I'll, I'll come to that topic also, right? Okay. But I'll, I'll just like in in passing so that because we have very short time. Um, yeah. Okay. So the next thing about uh, I'll talk about castes is that. Uh, uh, most of India, like for example, again, I'm making a, uh, e this even applies to the north as well, uh, are, see, we, we forget the fact that uh, the, the world was a monarchy. I mean, everything is run through monarchies before democracy, and you also had a very feudal reality. It's like you're, you're in a Western society and you suddenly forget that this is how um, the universe operated. Right, and then the democracy happened, enlightenment happened, all these happened, and life changed. But uh, so, but but if you if you want to uh, analyze uh, history, then you have to take that into account, right? So, uh, so so a significant number of kings were like mere like you know uprisings of chieftains, right? Chieftains as in small uh, tribal chiefs and so on. So uh, who actually? Uh, so for example, my, I I come from this caste called the Reddies. 
right? And uh, they uh, they're not they don't fit into the official caste system, but we are forward caste from the sense that uh, it is it is technically considered upper caste, right? But uh, but 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 again, uh, so so the Reddies had a small uh, kingdom a long time ago for a, a century or so, like in the 1300s right and okay. then they, they lost power and they got distributed within uh, the state so and uh, so so and, and they also served as uh, generals to a few larger kingdoms later on so what is but, the significance about these people uh, oh this is my i'm just giving you my frame of reference right okay, so okay. Uh, this is my surname so and and uh, the caste is also something that people identify with so it's like an identity right so right. i belong to so and so tribe i belong to so and so tribe uh, right. so, so but, but the thing is if you see uh, these guys uh, uh, they they didn't belong to the caste system but uh, eventually when they uh, had power they took the niche of Kshatriyas or the warriors, right? So mm -hmm. they didn't have power. They uh, gained power and they took the niche of uh, the Kshatriyas. Kind of uh, yeah. kind of similar to how the Parsis were not part of the caste system, but when they came to India, they kind of were treated like upper caste. Kind of, true. That's very true. And also, see, uh, I mean, see, the, the caste system is very prevalent throughout, right? So it's it's a it's a social reality. It's not a religious reality. At least that's one of the reasons why. I mean, in India, can nobody... we not can we not separate these two religious reality yeah, religion together? Religious that... reality is intertwined with economic reality and social reality and cultural rea reality. But I, there's I no clear line between how you could cut them. They impact each other. And they influence I, I each other. I agree. But what I'm saying is that, uh, like, for example, although it's the theme of the channel to focus on religion, uh, right? Or, uh, but the thing is, if you want to look at it uh, more objectively, it's, it's that the first reason is uh, anthropology, right? So it's like, uh, it's a social reality. And it's a social problem. Religion is it, a social reality. Of course, of course it is. But I'm saying, yeah. what, what I'm saying is that the, the derivation of caste in India is pan-religious. And it is also, uh, it's, it's, it's a South Asian, and I'll tell you the reasons for it. I'll, I'll actually give you See, uh, objective the reasons way, for it. The way I've seen it play out in, in many other places is that there are some problems that could, could and do arise independently from religion, that even if you did eliminate religion from it, it would have, right. it would have arise by itself, if, uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of like, like greed, economic issues, land issues, real estate issues. But what religion does, religion is like sticky glue, okay? Right, right, you have an right. original problem, and then you put, and you try to like make it flexible and get out of it, but what religion right. does is it comes and draw, like pours sticky glue all over it, and right. then it becomes much more. It's harder for it to, for you to like take it out and get rid of it. That's what religion right. does. Right. No, no that, that is absolutely true. Uh, I, I, see, I, I think I think you're absolutely right in the sense that uh, religion has its role to play. Mm. Uh, but but in the uh, but even where religion is sort of not very prevalent, caste still exists. That's what I mean to say, right? Yeah. Uh, so, so for example, uh, like I mean, even uh, Muslims, right? In India, I'll, I'll tell you how modern of a phenomenon this is. Also, Muslims in, in I mean, uh, in the past, Muslims in India just just took up the niche of butchers, right? Uh, people who because Indian uh, Hindus have a aversion to uh, like you know uh, slaughter. Right, general. I, I mean, any animals. Uh, so there is a general. They have an aversion to slaughter. So, so the, the dirty work for them, cutting animals, is a dirty work, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but Muslims made a living off uh, being mm -hmm. able to do that, right? So that kind of like their with the Jews and finance, because usury and interest was illegal, like or seen badly in Christianity yeah, or right, in yeah. Islam. So they give all the finance work to the yeah, Jews, yeah. and that's you're, you're why they became. They became so good at it because they couldn't do it. So you're saying like Muslims were kind of like the Jews in India because other people didn't want to do that, right? You're kind of right. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you uh, another modern development about caste because I, I try, tend to observe these things. Uh, if you if you see uh, taxi drivers in India, right? Uh, the drivers in India uh, and then you have doctors also. So it goes all the way. Uh, so uh, in India, the, the, the weird trend is because again, th this has a, a casteist relevance to it because... Doctors marry doctors, right? Mm. That's the new caste. 
and drivers also marry drivers right uh, they That's marry weird. from yeah which is uh, so so in, in that in that sense uh, because it, it, all these factors sort of come together right because you're you're living that kind of lifestyle you know that guy you uh, and then if to you're an doctor, outsider it yeah. might seem like you're trying to justify or whitewash caste system in india i am not i am not see i'm i'm saying this is this is what happens right this is what happens why it happens uh, is it right Th- those are not my concerns right so mm-hmm. and but this is what happens and this this is what happens because it is too ingrained why it happens uh, all of that we can discuss it and i'll i'll but, also tell you but what, this is how, this is like you could say that about the worst things as well you could say that about like isis okay i'm not going to say it right. because youtube doesn't like me like you could analyze why stuff like this happen and you could come right. up with an explanation for it right how it right. happens why it happens and you could also argue that it will happen and it does happen this is what happens right. this is what right. but to some people if they don't know better it seems like explaining we just have to um make it clear that explaining that something happens is the diff- is there's a difference between explaining it and excusing right. it because oh, yeah, sometimes yeah. So- people put like um say seem like they're explaining something yet, but actually they're trying to excusing it do you know what i mean see see but, but yeah i agree i totally agree i'm i'm only explaining because and i do i i i want to do an honest job of explaining it because then mm. you can fix it right if you're mm. not going to be objective about uh, like you know if you're always going to be like oh blame that people blame that scripture blame this and blame that you know what mm. you might be able to get rid of it but you're not uh, getting rid of the uh, like you know you're not compensating for the factors which are leading to it right right so so but you could also you... specialize in what factor that you want to focus on right for example Indeed, let's okay. say let's say like the caste system is um, um, there's many factor that um, led into why right. we still have caste system right, right. and right. you could right. say like some of it is social some of it is economical some of it is religious right and right. your activism could be on the religious part even though there are other factors right, right. but again right. like as an uh, as an enlightenment value activist or as an atheist activist what right. are you going to do when it comes to like are you going to focus on building the economy of india like yeah that's not what we do we go after true, the religious true. aspect of it right true 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 no 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 right. so so uh, you know, but even that should come from a place of understanding that's my place right, right? so i'm Good, like yeah. it should come from a place of understanding Good, uh, yeah. i agree yeah so agree. so okay yeah. so so that, that's that's how caste operates in the society broader society where mm-hmm. people uh, it, it still uh, emerges that way Mm-hmm. uh why and all of that is a secondary concern right uh okay so so again so as i spoke about the the reddies they happen to be 6.5% of uh, of the population the broader population not all of them are rich not all of them but but they're still considered forward caste and and to be very frank i mean if if that is uh, that was where people originated the thing is they got distributed all over the place so so my contention is that uh people adopted the name of a reddy uh, just because of the pride that comes with it right so uh because today identity is sort of more entrenched because uh, because your identity is like your citizenship card and all of that right so mm. you you have uh, the government tracks your identity but give or take a few centuries ago identity was far more fluid in the sense that i mean i'm not saying that people were so free that they could change whenever they wanted to uh, but to some extent nobody was keeping track of who you were you could go to 10 villages or 100 villages to the south or the north and uh, your you could you could lose your identity completely if you wanted to right mm-hmm. and 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 a lot of people have just changed their names to say forward caste names upper caste names uh, because it was nice uh and but, but the thing the thing about reservation in the caste system is that it sort of uh, entrenches you further right so the now you are that person uh, having that uh, identity means that you get privileges like i mean privileges not privileges but you get compensation right so uh, now you're more uh, now you're being tracked as that particular caste there's never there's probably never going to be a time where you will not be considered either lower caste or upper caste because the government tracks your caste uh, mm-hmm. in order to do uh, uh, like you know that's, so, uh, that's stupid that should be stopped right that should like that should go away for sure right exactly i mean that that's one of the reasons why i'm against the reservation system right, right. and I'll, i'll also tell you how uh <laughs> coming to the cities to a significant wait wait wait, wait. i changed 
Oh. I mean, don't you? Okay, hold on, hold on. That uh, I thought the government using that for another reason, but isn't? Don't you agree that if a, a certain group of people? I mean, I might actually agree with you because I think that if if there is any reservation system, it should be based on wealth rather than caste, right? The same. But Even I agree with that. Okay, you agree with that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I agree with that as well. But there, I do think there's, there's justification for some sort of a reservation system. Oh yes, yes, hundred percent. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. Good. So, see, right, one problem with this reservation thing is that uh, one is you you are uh, not making more opportunity. You're like, oh, uh, again, it's going to be. A, it's it's not about making more opportunity. Now just just for the people yourself. who don't know, the reservation in uh, system in India is kind of like the quotas um, in United States. Yeah. For people who don't know, like uh, just to it's a it's a way to level the playing field and to bring up the caste system um, and adjust for the discrimination that they faced before. Um, and just like in the United States, when I say like if there is such a thing, it should be based on it should be like focused on root causes and it should be based on education and it should right. be based on wealth rather than skin color. I would say the same thing about India. I think if you want right. to adjust for past, um, uh, you know, this, you know, for anything uh, you should if for anything that uh, any. Let me see. Anything that made a certain group of people fell behind, if you want to adjust for that, it's better to do it based on wealth because wealth will adjust for more um, for inter uh, intergenerational poverty and everything else you, more than if you f f uh, if you focus on caste. And also, if you focus on skin color or caste, it actually c uh, creates more conflict between caste or uh, different people right. of skin colors today. Right. It will cause resentment. I do, however, think that it's okay for governments in the United States to f uh, to focus on skin color or India to focus on caste not when it comes to the quotas or reservation system but if it when it comes to um fighting current discrimination that exists right for example if united states passes a law that uh, has anti-discrimination laws so for example to say you cannot hire based on skin color or right. that if, if any company that is hiring based on caste that should right. be legal like that focus um, if 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 focusing on caste and skin color, if it's ba if it's for the removal of current discrimination, that is justified. But if it's for the for the removal of previous discrimination, I think the right. only thing that needs to be adjusted is intergenerational poverty, and you could do that by uh, focusing on the poor rather than the lower caste. Right. But go on. No, no, yeah, exactly. So I, I'll tell you what. First thing is uh, now I'll, I'll tell you most of the problem is, for example, I'm ready and I am actually privileged. I'm not I'm not denying the fact that I'm privileged. Because I, I think uh, my, my family has made all the right decisions to stay, uh, what do you say, uh, somewhat wealthy, right? From the sense that they moved out of the villages, they moved to non-agricultural income, and uh, they moved to living in the city. Uh, then we, uh, they focused on education. They got a little educated. They focused on running businesses and so on. So uh, they, are, they have, like, we have no dependence on the villages, right? Uh, where uh, the caste is uh, most importantly there, but there are still a lot of people of the same caste, like my caste, right? Who uh, who were never privileged to begin with, from the sense that they didn't have anything to begin with, but still they are considered forward, right? And given that they uh, they've never benefited from right. the pa in the so past, so you're saying that they some... in the future. Okay, yeah. so you are saying there are some people that are labeled as upper caste, even though they didn't get uh, because they've just recently been upper caste, so they didn't they they didn't accumulate the the wealth that is associated with the privilege of yeah. generations of generations of being upper caste. So you didn't you don't have that history behind your fam your your family doesn't have that history behind them. But now all of a sudden you're getting hit with this reservation system yeah. that yeah. is based on caste rather than wealth. So it, do it it's not adjusting things properly. That's what you're saying. True. I mean, 100%, right? Like, for example, mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, see, caste is identity. It's just a name. You were born mm -hmm. with that name, right? And, right, and right, for so that reason, yeah. and, and for that reason, like, you know, people who just had happened to have that name, but had no extra property than, say, a low caste person, or, uh, like, you know, the average person, uh, he he is, uh, but for, for perpetually, he is going to be labeled. He, he neither benefited before, neither is he going to benefit right now. And the thing, and and the thing about lower caste uh, people again, when it comes to identity, is that they, uh, they of course they they deserve it, right? Now, of course they deserve it, but 
now it's been two or three generations and what typically happens is uh, because there is a reservation based on identity there's a first mover advantage right so people who first came in with that particular identity and they have reservation they tend to be better at taking the reservation again and again and again right mm. so th they are disproportionately uh, gaining the benefits while it is again it is their own people who most likely will suffer because it it only focuses on that pool of people right but mm. at the end of the day it's not deserving right for, for example people uh, uh, reservation once at least is necessary but reservation again and again and again as people are accumulating right. more and more and more uh, wealth and have already come out of that particular uh, like you know problem mm. of the past or, or present yeah. also yeah that's why it should uh, be based on wealth so I, I, always people who get it will always be something qualitative and quantitative yeah something yeah. qualitative and quantitative as a parameter right as right. exactly wealth is perfect for that mm. right anyway so that's 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 what i wanted to say about that Cassis. okay uh, and we want to move to Congratulate. like how hinduism affects people's view on as a read is this where we move to sex and sexuality or i i, I think I, I just focus yeah i, I think that'll come next right uh okay, okay. so you want to share the screen still do you have something else to show? No? Oh, yeah, no, no. I, I just uh, want to talk about a few. Uh, let's just go back to the village reality, right? Again. Okay. Uh, so this is the village reality uh, where... Uh, you see the same screen. Yeah. So, so the, the thing is, uh, even about untouchables, right? Uh, so mm. we'll, we'll talk about untouchables because that's like the, uh, the, 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 the worst thing about Hinduism, right? Or Hindu culture. And mm. it's it's a, a the worst thing about Hindu culture is untouchables and uh, one of fact, the worst things for sure. It is it is number one. Mm. Uh, it is number one. I mean, if you historically, if you look at it, that is the most disturbing aspect of Hinduism. I, I don't would think, think there's... like I mean, are you talking about scale or just the idea of itself? Because I think there is worse. I think the idea of your wife burning alive after you died. Oh yeah, but but I'll come to that. That is worse. Uh, I'll come to that. Wife, that that is not what how much the, the scale is very low there uh, yeah but okay that's what i'm saying if you're not talking about the scale of something but just the uh -huh. idea of self how vile oh, yeah, and disgusting yeah, yeah, yeah. the idea that, that itself is true. That is i true. think that's the worst right that burning your that wife. is true yeah. that yeah, is yeah. true yeah. um okay so uh okay but okay in, in terms of scale i think untouchables is like the worst right right okay. uh, because it's, it's it's more uh, it was more common because i actually called my grandfather and my dad uh, to find out to confirm how their experiences were right mm -hmm. uh, about this and uh, so th there are two things i would want to sort of uh, say though right mm -hmm. uh, one is uh, the hindi word for untouchables is achut right and uh, the telugu word for uh, untouchables is anturani valu right and the the word for the linguistics of communicable diseases in india is antu vyadi which is touch disease antu is touch and uh, antu vyadi is disease so, uh, I mean, we're talking about a reality not so long ago. We're talking about th this um, this untouchability was a thing just 70 or 80 years ago, right? I mean, it was a, it was a prevalent thing. And we're talking about a time, uh, and, and definitely, I mean, this is somewhere you can say Hinduism didn't know about the germ theory of disease, or uh, this is why science is better, penicillin, right? So, uh, the, the, the diseases, hello? Hello? Go, go on, go on, I can oh, hear you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, before germ theory of disease or penicillin, uh, diseases like leprosy, plague, smallpox were like a very, very common thing. In fact, my grandfather's generation, uh, there were people who had smallpox, right? Uh, who and, and when I was a kid, there were people who had leprosy and who were begging on the streets. So, this was a very common part of like you know uh, like you would have observed it in your lifetime and uh, so th there is a lot of and and uh, before people understood the germ theory of disease i think a lot of people generally maintained uh, distance from people who had disease right and uh, i think that's where untouchability actually comes from and uh, it's exactly like we are compensating for uh, a bug that is going around, right? Social distancing, quarantining people. Wait, keeping this them is open. your theory, or, or is this your guess, or is this? Comes no, no. The, this is this is this is uh, how it was practiced originally, even until recently, right? And then it. Uh, but the problem with 
uh, the, the Hindu society is that. But just to be uh, clear, I do not know. I do not. I, I I haven't looked into this, so I don't know. If oh yeah, yeah please, so, please go for yeah. it. Yeah, please go for it. Yeah. Uh, but what I wanted to say is that. Uh, but it became entrenched. That's what happened, right? So, uh, it's it's almost like you've been inheriting a profession through the caste. So you've also started inheriting disease through the caste, right? So uh, that's how the stigma sort of continued. And I think if we uh, a, a gen uh, a good way to do the research is that uh, we we could probably uh, like I mean if you when you're looking at if you, if you want to do research then there are epigenetic markers uh, that viruses sort of leave behind. There are also uh, selection pressures on the genome when it comes to developing immunity. Wait, are right? you suggesting? Are you suggesting that their lower caste? Uh, okay, I'm not saying you're saying this. I'm just guessing. I'm 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 just as no, I'm not guessing. I'm, I'm saying if you want to find proof. I'm saying if you want to find proof. Wait, no, no, wait, uh, so, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Are you suggesting that different caste systems are different from each other genetically because of the effects of disease on them? I'm I'm saying you could find some proof. I'm I'm saying the burden of uh, disease. Okay. I no. think we could probably. I'm saying I could be wrong. By the way, I'm just saying that if you want to look yeah, for wrong. evidence. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm no, just... I mean, I'm saying if you want to look for evidence, I want. I'm <laughs> saying if you want to look for evidence, then <laughs> you would find it there. It could Wait. prove me right or wrong. I'm. This is a hypothesis. I, in, in I could tell sense. you right now, based on how evolution works, your this is wrong. Okay, like, um, this is not how evolution works. No, see. See, uh, if you, if you, for for example, there are certain populations even in Africa today which are already developing. Oof. What do you say? Uh, 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 immunity to HIV/AIDS, right? Okay. And there are also certain populations in Europe which have, in the last few thousand years, have developed okay. the capacity to process lactose, right? So we were talking about it. It, might, it, it won't be a population level spread, but it'll be in. There will be a higher percentage. You can. Right. I, I'm. I'm. If you the, see, if you're if you're a geneticist, you can mm -hmm. go look it look it up. But let's leave it at that, right? Yeah. So okay. So okay. So yeah. We if, if you want to, like, you know, look for objective truth. How many then, years the caste system has been? Oh, easily. Uh, uh, easily, uh, like you know, thousands of years. Yeah, but that's not that's not nothing from evolutionary perspective. Oh yeah, no. See, I, I'm not okay. Fine. L let's. I'm just saying that if there is a way, that could be a and way. Otherwise, whatever, a way. whatever difference. Okay, whatever minor difference you could get from, right. um, you know, enzymes. Some, some, you know, even with today, today's modern technology and research techniques and data collection, it's really hard to prove any form of higher resistance to certain diseases or having special enzymes like the whole lactose intolerance thing right, right that is right. something that we only found out recently this is not something people could have discovered before okay oh yeah for so, sure so no, i'm, I'm not saying let me, let, can i can i can i finish can oh, i finish uh, this whole idea of different this whole caste system being anywhere close to any form of understanding of people um in India, um, knowing anything about the different um, okay. Okay, biological so, so. traits, and there will be no observable biological traits See, that could uh, be it, it can, that could be come as a result of yeah. different people being exposed to different diseases that that could actually these people could have figured it out See, with you're, any you're uh, meaning. You're, you're assigning meaning. No, to I'm me, just right? clarifying. I'm just clarifying yeah. for anybody that might come up to any conclusions. So, so, I'm not so, saying. I mean, you say I'm, that, I'm okay. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that if if you want to look for evidence, right, from a sense that see, uh, the, 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 there are genetic, uh, there's genetic research done to, uh, you know, find out uh, if how long ago caste system became prevalent based on and and to it's it's only to a degree, right? Let, so. Uh, so basically, what another they've thing, done is another thing. If you know, if you know anything about viruses or bacteria, yeah. uh, the level of distance between upper caste and lower caste right. um, is not at all enough for in India, even uh -huh. through thousands of years, is not enough at all for some some castes to be exposed to different kinds of germs than the other castes. It's not at all enough. I mean, I as long as they're yeah, okay. I agree. 
Yo, see, your your uh, your my plot is, or at least uh, what I'm what I'm trying to state here is that I'm not saying that oh there is there is a, there's a superiority or an inferiority or anything like Sounds that. Sounds like that though. Oh no no, that's that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if you want to look at why this particular thing came into being, then I, I and and and, and it I'm cannot be because of this because these particular thing that you're referring to it, it, it requires human decision making, and this human decision making cannot be based on. Um, Anything that is not absor- ob- observable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I yeah. agree. I agree. So, so, see, I'm not saying that Hindus knew about genetics. I'm not saying that they right. knew any of these. Things. So it cannot uh, be based not, on this. It, can, yeah, it no, cannot. It cannot. Yeah. had no foundation for that. They had no foundation right. for that. What they, what I'm saying is that they have isolated people based on symptoms, right? For example, if you have pock marks or if you have uh, visible symptoms of disease, right? And uh, so they, uh, you had leper colonies in the. Uh, mm-hmm. in, in Europe, right? So it's it's kind of similar to that, but the survivors ended up uh, being a significant group of untouchables. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm saying that this that's how it's This is an extraordinary started. claim. You understand that? Yeah, it is. It is. And that is why I'm saying right. that I'm making the claim, uh, but unless it is, unless, and there is a way to find evidence for it, uh, mm-hmm. I've just proposed the uh, way to find evidence for it. It could prove me right or wrong, but it's it's a it's a but it's I it's, will a, it's bet an ob- everything on wrong. But okay, you you know your friend Razab Khan, right? Why don't you get him to uh, sure. sort of uh, yeah, uh, do the research, right? Uh, but I, this is just a proposal on my part, right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, so let's move on from that. I would actually bet want. it would be um, given how many. De- okay, if I had to, if I was a betting man again, I don't. Ha- this is a hypothesis by me, not a theory. Okay. Right. But I would say that the immune system of lower caste people or outcasts would be better than the upper exactly, caste. Exactly, exactly. That's what I mean. Not because of what you said. Because, but because they survived. Of not, well, no, no. Because, uh, first of all, um, I don't, this is uh, within one generation. Nothing, nothing that they actually pass to the next generation, okay? Because of the exposure they have to, dir- to, um, to dirty work, right? Like right, if, if, right. if you're supposed to clean up the garbage, work with the, uh, the dead, uh, you know, clean the toilet. You're talking about ep- epigenetics, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about, yeah, I'm not talking about anything that could be passed to the next generation. I just think right, you're going right. to have, it's kind of like a vaccination, right? You're gonna, your body right. is more exposed to bacteria and it's going to develop an immune system. But nothing Absolutely. that actually changes the genetic. It's only within, like, like what I would bet that if if a if a Dalit today is just working in the office and has never had a job like this, I don't think they're going to have the same uh, strong immune system. Right. Absolutely. Right. I mean, I I agree. I mean, even in even in my uh, guess, I would say uh, uh, like you know, Dalits would actually have a better immune system. In fact, even if even if what I'm saying yeah, is right, that's something. It would yeah, but that would it, it would be better. But it would stop being better as soon as you give them a different job. Uh, don't give them a different job. We're not talking about jobs. We're not talking about property. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, saying as soon as like as, if if a Dalit is not genetically different from other human beings, okay? If right. you give it if a Dalit has an office job that is nothing to do with any any work that is makes them exposed to bacteria, they right. would not have a stronger immune system. Like genetically, we're the same people. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Let's 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 go okay. with that. Let let's leave okay. science to the scientists, right? Uh, so. Um, yeah, so l- let's put that aside. But as I said, this is, uh, especially, I mean, the way people viewed it, it has to do with, uh, what do you say, disease prevention to some extent. Because these people didn't know anything, man. That's the, the they, they were trying to save themselves yeah, as much ignorant. as possible. Like, yeah, they're, they're ignorant. ignorant. They're yeah. ignorant. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so so that, that's, that's how history went like went and about that's what we're fighting we're fighting economics. absolutely we should we should continue but i'm saying that if you explain to these idiots that you know what this is why you were acting irrational uh, mm-hmm. right so that is why you don't have to and and today penicillin and germ theory has uh, done away with it that is why you don't need to do it anymore right, right. Just, but if you're always going to that's i'm saying vaccination causes immunity against viruses not bacteria i said vaccine first of all i said vaccination as an example wait um I gave vaccination as an example to what we're talking about as a whole. But go on. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's why I also mentioned penicillin. Penicillin is only for yeah. bacterial uh, uh, no, diseases. I said just like vaccination boosts your immune system. If, you were, yeah. like, if you're working and di- doing dirty job, it does boost your immune system against bacteria Absolutely, as absolutely. Well. Yeah. 
I mean, even I grew up uh, like, you know, in the village. So I know uh, how that's improved. I mean, I, I don't get as sick as people who visit India. Right. So uh, there's a difference there. Okay. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so let's let, let's move well, on. Actually, from that. I, I'm pretty sure vaccines are for bacteria as well, though. Yeah, uh, no, vaccines are. are for bacteria as well. Yeah, actually, yeah, originally, they, are, they, are, they yeah, were yeah. made against bacteria. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's, it's only creating yeah, a, a memory yeah, during that person's lifetime. Uh, no, Kasim, you're wrong, actually. Uh, I know you, uh, vaccines are for bacteria as well. I was like, yeah, well, yeah. I had to do yeah, a double take. I have to go. Okay, that's go true. On. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so l let's move on from this topic because you have plenty to cover, right? So right. Uh, next is, uh, I would say, uh, gills, right? So gills uh, are the equivalent of some cast. We have uh, 10 fact, minutes. You said you're going to talk about sexuality. Okay, okay, just give me half an hour more. Could you? No, I can't. I have another thing to do. Okay, oh, okay. We, we could do another. We could do another one about uh, another meeting of specifically about sex, sex and sexuality in India. How That'd be that? better because I think we can focus on this particular area, right? Okay, just uh, ten, minute, ten more minutes. Yeah, okay, it's, okay. Then it's going to be only about caste, then, right? So okay. 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 Uh, so next is guilds. So uh, caste also existed as uh, guilds of craftsmen and merchants. So because you can see a lot of uh, caste which are specifically weavers, carpentry, temple That's a building, different thing, though. Can we not do? Can we agreed, not name agreed, it caste? No, no, I, I just want no, but but that is the uh, they still because come under caste. Cast, here's a here's a here's a here's a problem I have with that, right? If you call that caste, uh, and there's not a problem with that, okay? And then right. people are like, well, I guess there's nothing wrong with caste, right? So I think we should name that something. You should use a that's, different. That's precisely use a why. Yeah, that's precisely why. Because I'm saying, it, it, okay, the the strategy is yours, right? But what I'm saying is that this is also considered caste in India. Right. So mm. given given that if you isolate that better, you can mm. be more uh, pointed about your criticism there. Right. So but because it, it, all these things intermingle, like so that there's an interweaving of all of these things. So if you're going to talk about caste then uh, all of these things are sort of like people are going to uh, not look at the actual problem and they want to be looking at all of these other things also. And they'll mm. they'll they'll uh, they'll your, your point becomes more diluted. Right, mm -hmm. and will not be taken so seriously. But if you focus only on that and you sort of isolate these things, right. and you're like, ah, okay, that is the thing. Like for example, we we would say, uh, like I, I mean, uh, Muslims are not the problem, but you know, this is the problem, right? So Islam, may, these are the things which are the problem. Right, That's right. What you so say. you're just you're just trying to equip us so that we can find the real caste system. There's a absolutely problem, right? yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so so these are the different ways in which uh, caste functions, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, religion and all right now, uh, and and yeah, I'm not going to talk about sexual morality also. Mm. Okay, so uh, so I, I I think that's that's pretty much like the 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 focused part about caste, right? So uh, right. The, the, this is how caste functions, uh, and uh, like as I said, now Kshatriyas are the people who just ended up with power and they became Kshatriyas, right? It's, it's like they, uh, the, 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 there was always tribal upsurge, like, you know, upsurges here and there, and they weren't Kshatriyas, Kshatriyas to begin with. For example, up in the north, you had, uh, uh, you know, every caste that exists, like Yadavs and so on, they all had their own empires at some point in time, small kingdoms. And today they're called backward caste, but they were kings at some point in time. And they came from nothing. But then they took up the niche of Kshatriyas and then the and then at some level people sort of uh, you know uh, gave them uh, gave themselves those titles. Mm. Uh, they gave themselves those titles and they became more and more they legitimized their power. That's really how and and uh, so if you really look at it, uh, uh, there have been a lot of castes. A lot of castes have had power. They've lost power and there's been like this uh, you know. Turning of right, but, the, but the yeah. caste that the caste uh, ideology that came out of religion inside Hinduism as a uh, scripture itself that had a very st a strict uh, you know not the original one but the one that is like more to not the five thousand year old one but the two thousand year old one that has a very strict uh, um, place for like understanding of where every cla every uh, caste is supposed to be in society and it was based on heritage it wasn't based on merit like you had the warrior class the priest class and that was like um right. you know i mean that was not like at, at that point these people were not like going up and down 
the social ladder they were like no this is where you belong you belong at the very bottom or you belong at the very top like that and that comes from a religion that idea comes from a religious authority and see i mean see there is definitely some element of religious authority at least yeah. in my area there is no religious authority to uh, being upper caste but uh, in the north there is uh, those white areas are all areas which have that problem so in in the map uh, so th these are the areas where caste is justified by religion. Mm -hmm. So uh, especially UP, uh, that particular area has uh, Uttar, Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh, right? So and and uh, th these are areas which uh, also have th they're they're just high in the scale of religiosity because these are areas where even Muslims are more religious than uh, other areas, right? Mm. So uh, yeah, Hindus are more religious, Muslims are more religious. So Muslims tend to be. Uh, so, uh, we, what do you think uh, happens if I go to Uttar Pradesh? Oh, you, you, I don't know if Hindus will screw with you, but I, I'm sure Muslims will screw with you with your history. So, uh, there's a, I, I would say, uh, what define every, scr define screw with you? Screw with you means, uh, for example, there's a guy who was killed there. Uh, hmm. I mean, uh, because uh, he insulted the prophet once. So, uh, so that happened to him, and uh, and I, I would say, I mean, if you hurt, you would you would probably get beaten up by Hindus. Hundred percent, oh. you'll get beaten up by. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I mean, if if you are identifiable, okay. I think most people won't identify you. Nobody will be able to know you, right? Because mm -hmm. internet isn't all that prevalent. Yeah. And again, yeah. these are the but people. But if I announce that I'm going to Uttar Pradesh and then I show up at Uttar Pradesh. Oh yeah, for that... sure. You'll get beat. You'll get beaten up by Hindus. I don't know what mm -hmm. the Muslims would do. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, hundred percent, all of them will complain to the cops. And uh, knowing you're an international figure, you will be first taken into police custody, right? Oh, so okay. the cops will catch you, and uh, it's it's partial, right? So that's the reason why uh, in India you have this uh, religious sensitivity laws and all of that because uh, both sides are crazy, right? So uh, irrespective of who offends who, who uh, there is going to be social damage. Uh, and Divya, most people Divya, don't want. Divya in the live chat is saying, my grandparents used to respect Dalits, but my parents' generation has a different kind of hatred towards them. I don't know why. Uh, I, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so uh, coming to Divya's point, right? I'll tell you how, uh, uh, because I just went through a few calls with my grandfather and my dad. And what I learned is that uh, my uh, great grandfather's generation it is true that, uh, uh, you know, uh, th th there was not a whole lot of intermingling between uh, the general population and the upper caste. The upper caste is, uh, or, or at least my family, I mean, uh, see, it's a sample size of one. Right? So it's a, so they, they didn't, uh, and, and they didn't share utensils and stuff. Right? So that's, that's have one thing. Three minutes, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Cool. So, uh, so that's how uh, my great grandfather's generation was. Uh, my grandfather's generation became less. Uh, what do you say? Uh, they they know. Like in their heads, they know who is who, right? Mm. So they know which caste, uh, who belongs to which caste, and all of that. They know it in their head. But you know what? It's 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 a it's a it's a. There's a lot of boss and uh, like you know servant relationship that exists. And uh, there is also a, a sense of authority in villages that comes with being uh, being rich. Actually, that's that's really what it is. And uh, also, it's it's sort of old power. So that that's what exists. And uh, but at the end of the day, if you are, but they don't see caste when you're educated. They don't see caste when you come from another village, right? So it's only entrenched in that local reality. Right. And uh, by my parents generation, uh, for example, my father, uh, he uh, he uh, like, you know, uh, switched against sexual morality. Right. Like, I mean, he was. Uh, uh, hello. Hello. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so he, hear you. He, he was uh, uh, he he uh, he broke out of sexual morality. That's that's his uh, achievement. We're going to talk gen. about sexual morality next. Yeah, no, no, that's I'm, I'm just, just going to be I'm a saying, cliffhanger. I'm just saying for yeah. progression yeah. of generations, right? Yeah. So right. Uh, he he came over uh, sexual morality to some extent, and uh, but but he's still married within the caste, right? So he's still married within the caste. Uh, so and 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 it it was also because. Uh, you have all these uh, like soft ties, right? So because you belong to a certain caste, it's very identifiable. Uh, your friends uh, disproportionately tend to be from your own caste. 
and right. so you're going to end right. up meeting so a woman from your no no okay see, then 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 let's, my we're share done. okay go and, and then and then last, we'll last it, point right? like yeah f- few seconds okay yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, we'll come to my generation. And with my generation, what you'll see is that, uh, like, I, I have no idea who belongs to who, which caste, right? So it's it's like you do, right. but that's in the city. I'm very urban. Yeah, I share. So not in the uh, rural area, it's worse. But let's end this here. Yeah, let's end this here. Let me explain oh. the last, like, the, the final points. And I was uh, trying to get this under an hour, but go on. Oh, okay. Lesson. So, no, tell, uh, tell that's, me. Let's end. Let's end. So uh, in my generation, it's not very identifiable. Me and, uh, for example, my driver, he certainly, uh, again, that's privilege, but uh, but this is like urban privilege, right? So uh, you, you, uh, my driver and I, we share, we share, oh, and so on. Cut. So I'm saying there's been a change, and you don't even see who belongs to what identity. Uh, and even my parents are like, you're, you're getting to 32 years. We are a marriage obsessed society, right? So you're getting to 32 years of age. Just you get s- married to whoever you want, right? So okay. they've, they, Got they've, they've re- that, that's, that's where India is today. Got it. Today. Right. So, Got it. Yeah. All right, great. Yeah. I just, I, I was trying to keep this under one hour, but we went over one hour. It's okay. Usually people watch it okay. more if it's like 59 second minutes or something. Uh, okay. I, okay, so I'm going to just say to people that uh, we went live with this uh, on my personal channel. But we're going to release this on Atheist Republic's YouTube channel. So if you are not uh, subscribed to my personal channel, if you're watching this on Atheist Republic, link to my personal channel is in the description. Uh, also, if you also, are... Uh, yeah. what? Wait, no. if you are... If you are a patron um, above tier one, not tier one, anything above tier one, uh, you could uh, contact me on pa- on our Patreon account. A link to our Patreon is in the description. You could contact me on Patreon uh, on our Patreon, and we could set up uh, meetings like this. Well, you want to say something? Go on. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say. I mean, if there are other people from uh, other caste groups, whatever, from within India, if they mm-hmm. want to leave comments on the uh, YouTube video, I'll, I'll end up watching it. Uh, mm-hmm. Mostly because. Uh, I mean, again, it's I, I speak from my frame of reference, right? And I've been trying to uh, like generalize uh, the, the 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 like underlying themes of it. But so if if I can if I can uh, get more sample sizes, so if you're going to leave a comment, then I'm going to uh, include that in my future. Uh, like, um, I mean, I'm going to change my perspective more than anything. Right. Else. Okay. So leave. So objective reality is saying that he's going to read your comments. So leave your comments under this video, and he's going to check what your perspective is, so he could expand his horizon. Anyway, exactly. thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. I'm just going to end this live stream. Thank you guys. Make sure you subscribe and goodbye.